I think we're gonna move to Cozumel. <laughs> I think so too. It's official. You heard it here first. The ways of the world is over. Hi, my name is Aymara, this is my husband Gordon, and together we're Ways of the World. We spent 17 days in Cozumel while slow traveling Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. We got to explore almost every corner of the island, and today we're sharing six of our favorite beaches in Cozumel. Good morning from beautiful Punta Morena Beach. This is the first beach we're going to share with you in this video, and it's located on the east side of the island. And this side of the island is less developed, it's considered like more off the beaten path, and it's also super wavy. It's equally beautiful than the west side, but there's just less stuff going on. And the downside is that in a lot of the beaches you cannot swim, but as you can see, it's absolutely stunning. Now we're gonna show you more of Punta Morena Beach. the ocean on the east side is super rough there's like two little pockets of I guess less turbulent water here where you can like cool down just take a dip but it's like all at your own risk there are no lifeguards so be careful don't go too far out the riptides are pretty intense so it's basically just good for like plopping in and cooling down Morena Beach is absolutely beautiful. We would totally spend the whole day here admiring the water. The colors are insanely pretty, but now it's time for us to check out the next beach. Welcome to Chen Rio Beach. This is probably the most popular beach on Cozumel's east side. And you can definitely see why. It's very cool. Like the, the southern part of the beach has like kite surfing and surf schools. So if you're coming to Cozumel and want to learn how to surf, like this is a pretty good spot. And a lot of families are coming here too because the, the north side of the beach kind of has like a wading pool where you can just like chill in the water and relax. So in general, compared to other east side beaches, like the waves aren't as intense. So like there's on both sides, it kind of is blocked off by rocks so the waves don't come in like too aggressively. Another great thing about Chen Rio Beach is that it's absolutely free to just like visit and hang out and there's also two restaurants here and it's just like you consume what you want there's no minimum consumption so that's a lot different than other beaches that we visited in Cozumel and definitely like a plus for Chen Rio. And the vibe here is cool it's like a nice place to hang out we love it we might chill here for a little bit grab a beer who knows. We went for it. Una cervecita. Salud. We heard the food here was really good, so we couldn't resist. Now we're having some lunch. Buen appetit! Yeah, it's cool. Welcome to Playa Panacar. This is one of the most popular beaches in Cozumel. It's about a 45 minute drive south of town on the west side. And one of the reasons why it's so popular is that it's one of the fewer sandy beaches in Cozumel. So a lot of the beaches here have kind of like a rocky shore but this one has a full beach. It's set up to be enjoyed. There's like lounge chairs that you could rent for, I think $10 for the day. There's different restaurants. The food is so-so we had to create here. And similar to a lot of the other beaches, 
it's semi-private, so you don't have to like pay an admission, but you do have to consume a certain amount, like 170 pesos per person. It comes out to about eight or nine dollars, so not bad for a lunch and some drinks. Playa Falancar also has a ton of things to do. If you come here at the right time, you can jump on this boat and go on a diving trip. I think they also do snorkeling tours and you can book that all from the shop here at the beach. Uh, they also have jet skis and banana boats and kayaks. So if you want to stay busy, this is a perfect beach for that. I did go snorkeling though. The snorkeling is just nah. I don't know if I went out far enough, but I only saw one fish. So not a great snorkeling beach, but overall it's pretty cool. There's also like a gift shop where you can buy different things. But, just like a, a nice comfortable place to spend the day. This is Playa Corona and this beach is super famous for snorkeling and we give it a 5 out of 5, we just went snorkeling and it is the best that we've done in our lives. We saw so many things. I'm gonna put some footage so you can see it because if you like snorkeling, this is the place that you have to come. is semi-private which means that you don't have to pay an entrance fee but you do enter through a restaurant and you do have to consume a minimum of ten dollars per person we just had lunch it covered lunch and it was it was okay and you can also have drinks they sell alcohol they have bathrooms they have showers and we really liked it because you can go snorkeling and leave your stuff on the table and everything is safe and secure and you can just take as much time as you want in the water Playa El Cielo, which means Heaven Beach. And as you can see, it's not hard to understand why it has the name. And this beautiful beach is inside Punta Sur Eco Park. And you pay, I believe, $16 to get here. It doesn't include, like they don't, it doesn't include food, but it includes access to this beautiful beach. And you have chairs and there's restaurants. And the vibe here is very different than any of the other beaches in town. Maybe because it's a little bit more expensive than the other one. And it's also a little bit far because it is on the southern tip of the island and we heard and read that some of the best reefs are here and we have to swim like a hundred meters to get there we brought our fins and our snorkels we're gonna go snorkeling and see for ourselves if, if it's one of the best we'll let you know just got back from snorkeling reporting back the results and the ranking is more like two and a half out of five not because it was bad because it wasn't bad but because you have to swim like 25 minutes against the current pretty much the whole time wearing fins so if you're not wearing fins it's gonna take you like 45 minutes so I wouldn't say that this is like a snorkeling beach however it is El Cielo look at this we just ordered a drink and we're gonna hang out here until 4 p.m. which is when the beach closes and then we have an extra hour at the park um, to explore more of the area. I'm not 
kidding. I've had a lot of mojitos in my life. This is the best mojito I've ever had. Welcome to Sunset Beach. This place is more like a restaurant instead of a beach, but it is really special because it's supposed to be one of the best snorkeling places in the island. And this is a tip from a snorkeling guide. So we believed him and that's the reason why we're here. It's located on the west side of the island. So it's like right in the middle of town next to the cruise uh, port, as you can see behind me. But we are not here for the beach. We're just here for the snorkeling. That was amazing, snorkeling here was beautiful. If you do have to pick one place though, we did like Playa Corona a little bit better. There's more sea life there. However, this one is right in town, five minutes from everything. So if you need something fast and in town, this is a great place. In terms of fees, you don't have to pay anything to get in, but this is a restaurant. So you do have to eat or drink or both. And another thing we like about this beach is, or beach is that it's open until 8 p.m. So until sunset time is open, it's a great spot to watch the sunset, which we didn't see in a lot of the other beaches. They close from four to six. But now we're gonna enjoy happy hour, have dinner, and call it a night. Happy hour. Are you happy? Pretty happy. It's a happy hour. I think we're gonna move to Cozumel. <laughs> I think so too. It's official. You heard it here first. The ways of the world is over. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Thanks so much for watching this video about the best beaches in Cozumel. We're sure if you do come to Cozumel that you're gonna find a beach that you'll absolutely love. Yes, I mean, Honestly, if you're coming here on vacation, the whole island is set up to be enjoyed. All the beaches, wherever you go, you're going to have restaurants, you're going to have facilities, everything you need to enjoy a perfect beach day. Yeah, and that includes like the rugged east side of the island where like the waves are crazy to this tranquil, beautiful, peaceful western side of the island. With this beautiful the sunset. Snorkeling, the snorkeling is like world class. So whatever you're looking for, you can find it here in Cozumel. As always, if you have questions, if you have any comments, we're happy to help. Let us know in the comments below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Have fun in Cozumel. Have fun. Bye. Get some more breakfast. Cochineta pibil is the most famous dish in the Yucatan Peninsula. Oh, it smells so good with the bread. It's so hot.
Nice marquesita. Thank you. Got a big one.